22 things wrong with Vanguard zombies and how to fix them. I don't really know what Treyarch was thinking with the last couple. Number one, there's no pause button. I don't understand how we went from being able to pause co-op games in Black Ops 4 and Cold War to not even being able to pause in solo in Vanguard. On top of this, even if you find a safe place free of zombies to AFK at just to use the restroom or whatever, you get kicked from the game. I don't think I need to explain how to fix this, just please give us a pause button. There's no Pack-a-Punch camo. One simple feature that goes a long way in zombies is the iconic Pack-a-Punch camo, and I understand that Treyarch has been completely overwhelmed with all the different projects that they've been working on recently, but they could have at least gave us a placeholder Pack-a-Punch camo until they designed a new one. At this point, I'd be happy if they just ported over one of the Pack-a-Punch camos from Cold War just to give us something in the meantime. There's no Wonder Weapon, not even a Ray Gun. Every single Zombies map ever has featured some sort of Wonder Weapon that stood out from the rest of the guns in the game. Something different and better to break the repetitiveness of using bullet weapons against a Zombies horde is a must have have in zombies in my opinion. Some sort of World War II themed special weapon would be a fantastic addition to the current state of the game. Shinonuma is incredibly dark and uninteresting to look at. For some reason, the Shinonuma portion of Daron Fong is incredibly darker and harder to see than the rest of it. This is the ugliest version of Shinonuma we've ever had. The Zombies Chronicles version of this map puts the Vanguard one to shame as far as lighting goes. I'm not going to act like I know what needs to happen on the back end to fix this, but adjusting the lighting on this map could go a long way. The mystery box seems pointless. There's no wonder weapon and the fact that you can have any gun you want right when you load in just makes the mystery box completely pointless. A much better way to spend your points is to put all of them into perks and pack a punching your loadout weapon. I mean this could be fixed by adding some sort of special weapon to the box that you can't get in any other way, i.e. a ray gun or something like that. Zombies pathing is questionable to say the least. The Vanguard perk system is boring. Although they look really cool, and I like what they did to the perk drinking animation, at their core, they're just reskins of the classic perks. I would be okay with this, but for some reason you have to upgrade them to tier 4 just to get the equivalent effect to what they would be in the classic games. What would be much more interesting is if they added some sort of new effect if you managed to upgrade it all the way to tier 4. There's only 5 perks. Adding to the uninteresting nature of the perk system, there's only 5 of them to begin with, which is very noticeable, especially coming after Cold War, which literally had 10 perks by the end of it. The difficulty scaling in this game is really bad. The game is a complete snooze fest till about round 15, then all of a sudden it gets much harder to the point by round 20, the only way to make it through the rounds is if you sweat your ass off. It would be really nice if this was more of a gradual change. The only guns worth using in the game are shotguns, specifically the Einhorn revolving shotgun or however you say it. Every other type of gun feels very very weak in Vanguard, and it'd be nice if they gave much needed buffs to all the different weapons in the game. There's no main easter egg. Yes, there's going to be one added later at some point, but as of right now, this just doesn't exist. For many players, easter eggs are a great addition which gives the map much more depth and add a ton of replayability. On top of this though, there's also no side easter egg. There's nothing secret you can unlock and figure out how to do, like a little free perk easter egg or a free wonder weapon easter egg, or literally just anything would add so much. A little fun easter egg here or there goes a long way. There's no round based map. So I'm not someone who's entirely against the new direction of objective based zombies, but it would be incredibly nice if they could just section off parts of Daron Fong and make it into like a little small round based map. I think the core gameplay of Vanguard is actually not that bad, and if we had a chance to try it in a more familiar round based environment, it could actually prove to be really fun. Dark ether camo is just completely awful, and I know something like this is very subjective, but I think a lot of the community agrees that this is just kind of bad. A solution could be to just give us a second camo that you'd unlock on top of the Dark Aether one that's actually worth grinding for. On top of this, Dark Aether is way too long of a grind in my opinion. To unlock every gun to level 70 and then do all the challenges for the given weapon is just entirely too long. I think it'd be nice if they removed the level 70 requirement and it would still be a very exclusive camo. Artifacts are just reskins of Cold War field upgrades except they're worse. I'm not opposed to them reskinning some of the older ones, but it would be really nice if only like half of them were reskins. Like if we had like 8 artifacts for example, and 4 of them were original ideas that we'd never seen before, then this wouldn't be that big of a deal. One small thing is it's hard to tell when your artifact wears off. When you're using Aether 
shroud, for example, and you're just really focusing on completing an objective or whatever it may be, it can be hard to tell exactly when the effect wears off, and it can be kind of a surprise when all of a sudden zombies start targeting you when you were just in a position where you felt completely safe. This could be fixed if they just improve the visual effect of whichever artifact you're using. Some guns have a ton of visual smoke when pack a punch. This might be a problem with Vanguard as a whole and not just zombies, but sometimes it's extremely hard to see when shooting, especially when shooting with pack a punch guns. It'd be nice if they removed any sort of muzzle flash or gun smoke altogether in zombies, and I don't think anyone would complain about that. Machine gun zombies are one of the worst mini bosses we've ever had in Call of Duty Zombies. Yeah, I really just don't know what they were thinking about with this one. The machine gun zombies are completely ridiculous in Vanguard. They don't seem to serve a purpose other than to spawn in every five seconds and just remove your armor. I think what they could do is, is to just make armor like five times more effective against bullet damage, and I think these boss zombies would be a lot less annoying to deal with. It's the same three objectives on the same three maps. This is probably the biggest issue with Vanguard zombies as a whole. The game feels like it's in a beta and not an actual $60 release. Outbreak, for all intents and purposes, was a side mode in Cold War, but it launched with five objectives on the same amount of maps. This is definitely the main problem with the game. And all development on the zombies team on Treyarch just needs to go into developing new areas to teleport to and new objectives to complete. On top of that, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intentional, but the RNG of what challenges you get on what map is decided when you start the game. So in a given game, you end up doing the same objective every three rounds. For example, if when I load up, I get harvest on Shinonuma, then every three rounds, I'm going to be back on Shinonuma doing a harvest mission. I think just getting rid of this bug or whatever it is could automatically make the game like three times more replayable. And the last thing wrong with Vanguard Zombies is that you're not subscribed.